أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا حبيب الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله بالهدى ودين الحق أرسلا ما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن المجيد والفركان الحميد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم على إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون صدق الله العظيم وصدق على رسول النبي الأمين الشفي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين ببركة إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا وشفينا ونبينا ومولانا محمد وما تحب وترضى لب أن تسلي عليه صلاة وسلاما عليك يا حبيبي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وأصحابه وسلم علماء كرام سادات كرام حفاظ كرام Honorable elders, lovable youngsters, students of knowledge, and in Parda, our honorable sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, today is the 29th of Rabi Uthani, but we are those Sunnis who celebrate regardless of the day. Today is the Urs on behalf of the Makkah Islamic Center of Sultan al Awliya. Shaykh Sayyid Abdul Qadir Ghilani radiallahu an. We were waiting for one of our esteemed uh, guests and teachers, Shaykh Walid, to come back from Umrah. So hence why we couldn't do it a little bit earlier. But like I said, we are Sunnis who celebrate 365 days of the year. Every day is a day of the Milad. Every day is Gyarmi. So we are, we're not specified to one day. So Alhamdulillah, and tonight we will also be sitting for the moon uh, announcement for the next uh, month to commence, inshaAllah. So uh, we will have just the tartib of today's mafil, inshaAllah. We'll have some of the uh, madrasa students come up and uh, recite uh, for us. And that will lead us to, inshaAllah, um, Isha Salah. And after Isha Salah, then we'll have the older Nathkhans. Um, come up as well as our keynote Nath Khan who has arrived in Toronto um, Hafiz Muhammad Ali Sovra Disab, he's already here and Sheikh Walid will follow after that um, you know brother uh, Hazrat Zuhair Sahab is already here as well um, and then we have Adil Iqbal Sahab who is also attending um, Hafiz Kashif etc so it's going to be a good mafil inshallah as the brothers and sisters come it's going to be a Rouhani mafil and especially from the speech of Sheikh Walid Al Makki inshallah so what is Gyarmi? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his men to safeguard the religion. After the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam left his temporary abode, people continued to spread the deen after the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam left us in front of our unseeable eyes. Sayyidina Abu Bakr, then to Sayyidina Omar, Sayyidina Uthman, Sayyidina Ali, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, so on and so forth. Radiyallahu anhu majma'in. Islam went far and wide. And from generation, from the tabi'een to the taba tabi'een, they continued to spread the word of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we say urs, Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azam in Kitab al-Nur, Mentions what is Urs. Urs is a shadi. He said, It's a wedding for me. Not in this life, my Urs, my wedding will be on the day that I'm resurrected with my grandfather, Muhammad Rasulullah. We commemorate the men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who safeguarded the religion, who spread the sharia and tariqa. And made that important as the example that we follow today. Sayyidina Ghaus al Azam radiallahu an was that individual 
who when he came into this world, his blessed mother gave birth to him, he already was a hafiz of more than a quarter of the Quran. He went to his ustad, not a takbir, not a risalat. Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azim radiallahu an when he went to his ustad his mother sent him his mother sent him for madrasa Mulana Saab was saying to Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azim radiallahu an start reading read after me read I'm going to read and you repeat after me and he wasn't responding he says I already know this he went to the first juz then the second juz third juz and he says i already know this and he started reciting what he used to what he used to hear from his blessed mother while he was in the womb this is the karamat of sayyidina ghaus al-azam radiyallahu an sultan al-awliya no wali no friend of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can become a wali unless sayyidina ghaus al-azam radiyallahu an puts his feet onto their shoulder this is the maqam of Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azim radiallahu an. And we are here to commemorate their life, insha'Allah. And we are also here to praise his grandfather, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bila takhir, insha'Allah, we will start with the tilawat of the Qur'an. And I will ask Hafiz Luqman to come and recite passages from the Qur'an. Hafiz Luqman, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Qala ya ayyuhal mala'u ayyukum ya'tini bi'arshiha qabla an ya'tuni muslimin Qala ifritum min al-jinn ana atika bihi qabla an takuma min maqamik وَإِنِّي عَلَيْهِ لَقَوِيٌّ أَمِينٌ قَالَ الَّذِي عِنْدَهُ إِلْمٌ مِّنَ الْكِتَابِ أَنَا آتِيكَ بِهِ قَبْلَ أَنْ يَرْتَدَّ إِلَيْكَ طَرْفُكَ فَلَمَّا رَآهُ مُسْتَقِرًّا عِنْدَهُ قَالَ هَذَا مِنْ فَضْلِ رَبِّي لِيَبْلُوَنِي أَأَشْكُرُ أَمْ أَكْفُرُ وَمَنْ شَكَرَ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ رَبِّي غَنِيٌّ كَرِيمٌ قَالَ نَكِرُّوا لَهَا عَرْشَهَا نَنْظُرْ أَتَهْتَدِي أَمْ تَكُونُ مِنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَهْتَدُونَ فَلَمَّا جَاءَتْ قِيلَ أَهَا كَذَا عَرْشُكْ قالت كأنه هو وأوتينا الإلم من قبلها وكنا مسلمين آمنت بالله صدق الله العظيم MashaAllah, this was uh, Hafiz Luqman reciting from Surah Naml of the Holy Quran. Oftentimes we, we hear about 
that the only Allah are not mentioned in the Quran. Where does it say about these men of Allah? Surah Namal, there was an awliya, there was a man of God, a man of Allah from the tribe of Bani Israel. Ji Imam Sahib. And Sayyidina Suleiman alayhi salam asked about Bilqis, the takht of Bilqis, the throne of Bilqis. Who can bring that takht to me? So the jinn, because they had the hakumat of the jinnat, and they, the jinn came and said, I can give him, give me five minutes. He says, no, I need it quicker. And a man of Allah stood up. He says, Ya Sayyidina Suleiman, alayhi salam, I can bring it. He says, if you give me some time, how much time? He says, how long does it take you to blink your eye? Allahu Akbar. They say that the men of Allah cannot do mojaza. You read the Quran, but you don't read the Quran and understand the Quran. The Quran is just on your tongues, it's not in your heart. This man of Allah stood up. And if you read Surah Namal, did he bring the takht? Yes or no? Did he bring the takht? Was he mawjood in front of Sayyidina Sulaiman when the takht came? Yes, this is the karamat of the awliyaullah. So you understand the karamat of the awliya from the tribe of Bani Israel. But you don't accept the great men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the nasal of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the biggest hypocrisy. Munafikat. You read the Quran, you don't understand the Quran. Allahu Akbar kabira. Inshallah, we will talk more about uh, the great men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one of the greatest men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Sayyidina Ghaws al-Azam radiyallahu an Bila ta'akhir, I'm going to ask one of our students Muhammad Taha to come up and recite the nat in, in the shan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayka ya ya Rasulullah وسلم عليك يا حبيب الله حسبي ربي جل الله ما في قلبي غير الله نور محمد صلى الله لا إله إلا الله حسبي ربي جل الله ما في قلبي غير الله نور محمد صلى الله لا إله إلا الله سمت نبي بوجهل جيا آكا سيسني كها سمت نبي بوجهل جيا آكا سيسني كها دره نبي بطلا زرا ميري مت سمت نبی بو جہل گیا آقا سے اس نے یہ کہا ترہ نبی بتلاو ذرا میری مٹھی میں ہے کیا آقا کا فرمان ہوا اور فضل سبحان ہوا مٹھی سے پتھر بولا لا الہ الا اللہ حسبی ربی جل اللہ ما فی قلبی غیر اللہ نور محمد صلى الله لا إله إلا الله مير نبيك غلاموك رتب براه شان بري مير نبيك غلاموك رتب براه شان بري 
چاہے گو سے آزم ہو یا وہ ہو داتا حج ویری میرے نبی کے غلاموں کا رتب برا ہے شان بری چاہے گو سے آزم ہو یا وہ ہو داتا حج ویری یاد نہیں تمہیں وہ منظر خواجہ نے جب حد چل کر نوز لاکھ کو پروایا لا الہ الا اللہ حسبی ربی جل اللہ ما فی قلب غیر اللہ نور محمد صلی اللہ علیہ الہ الا اللہ حق لا الہ الا اللہ جزاک اللہ و السلام علیکم MashaAllah, this was Muhammad Taha from our, one of our madrasa students. And just speaking about uh, madrasa students, uh, we have two of our students of the month uh, that are here uh, that uh, I want to uh, uh, acknowledge. So I will ask both uh, Ali Farooq and Wahab Asghar to come up uh, just so everybody can see. You can just stand up, stand up. MashaAllah. Nare Takbir. Nare Takbir, Nare Risalat, MashaAllah. Sheikh Ali, I call him Sheikh Ali. Sheikh Ali is one of our leading uh, youth in our in-person madrasa under the supervision of Imam Hamza, Hafadhullah Ta'ala. And he is uh, learning very quickly. And uh, he said to me and Imam Saab, uh, he said, uh, when can I be uh, Imam? So, inshallah, this is the tarbiyah of their noble father sitting in the back, Brother Farooq. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and bless uh, Shaykh Ali, inshallah. We're very proud of both of them. It is all, that's what I said, it is all the work of Imam Hamza. So, alhamdulillah, may Allah preserve uh, the righteous ulama as well. And we have Wahab Asgar. Uh, Wahab is also my student, is also uh, Hafiz Bilal and Hafiz Ye uh, Lukman student as well and they all agreed that he should be the student of the month because he's always uh, eager to learn more and he's learning Arabic grammar as well so alhamdulillah and he's trying to take uh, behind his brother who's also here uh, so he's trying to follow his brother as well so uh, brother Aish and his sister Fatima in the same way of learning Sarf and Nahav so mashallah so I'll, I know your dad's not here but uh, your brother is, a brother is like a father as well. So we are proud of uh, Wab as well. May Allah preserve the youth and uh, the students of Makkah Islamic Center, inshallah. Inshallah, so we will have, uh, 6.15 is Adhan for Isha. Uh, so what we will do is we'll have Kasidatul Burda uh, with brother and uh, Zuhair, Hafiz Luqman, Hafiz Bilal. And then Darkhast uh, Hazrat Ab. So we'll have dhikr as well and then we will go into Isha Salah and right after Isha Salah we'll go into uh, the rest of the program inshaAllah bismillah. So without further ado, uh, Hazrat Zuhair and if I can ask Hafiz Bilal to come up. اللہ علیہ الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مولا یا صلی وسلم دائما ابدا علی حبیبی کا خیر الخلق کل ہی می مولا یا صلی سلم دائما ابدا على حبيبي كخير الخلق كله من او الله سن پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز اپان یور بیلوور 
the best and perfect creation that you have created alhamdulillah munshil khalqi min adami thumma salatu ala al mukhtari fil qidami maulaya وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله ملكتي heavens and the earth the shining sun and the moon when Allah made all of them he made them all just for you zameen o zama tumhare liye makin o maka tumhare liye zameen o zama tumhare liye makin o maka tumhare liye chunin o chuna tumhare liye chunin o chuna tumhare liye bane do jahan tumhare liye look at the heavens and the earth the shining sun and the moon when allah made all of them he made them all just for you there is no one like you there is no one who's the same so merciful is your nature and so high is your name lamya ti naziru ka fi nazar lamya ti naziru ka fi nazar misle to na shud paida jana jag raj ko taj to re sar so hai tujh ko shahid o sara jana there is no one like you there is no one who's the same so merciful is your nature and so high is your name all of the prophets and messengers are in need of you they all take sips from your ocean and desire to serve you wa kullu hum mir rasulillah there's no one like you there's no one who's the same so merciful is your nature and so high is your name the lord has sworn by the beauty of the curls in your hair and by the place of your birth and by the cloak that you wear the lord has sworn by the beauty of the noor on your face so oh, beautiful mustafa bless your servant with the one gaze na'am sara tayfu min ahwa fa arraqani wal hubbu ya taridu alladhati bil alami maulaya salli wa sallim daiman abadan ala habib 
بك خير الخلق كلهم. He me so beautiful were the moments which Dick in the cave. He stood by you all his life and sleeps by you in the grave. Look at Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman and Mawla Ali. We love them for they have spent their lives in your company. Look at Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman and Mawla Ali, we love them for they have spent their lives in your company. Thummar Rida An Abi Bakr wa an Umar wa an Ali wa an Uthman Adil Karami Mawlaya Salli wa Sallim دائماً أبداً على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم يا ربي بالمصطفى بلغ مقاصدنا واغفر لنا ما مضى واسع الكرم مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله زهير باي is very talented mashallah and uh, we did this in english because of the youth and uh, hopefully inshallah one day especially the children they can recite uh, in english as well in the shan of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam every zuban is the zuban of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam whether it be arabi whether it be english farsi doesn't matter because we are ashikani rasul alhamdulillah so our heart speaks our heart is our Zuban. MashaAllah. May Allah preserve uh, Zuhair by inshaAllah. Bila Takhir inshaAllah. If we can make a halaka, please. Make a halaka, a circle. InshaAllah, we're going to have dhikr uh, of uh, zikr of Allah and his Habib alayhi salatu wasalam. And then 6.15 inshaAllah, we'll have adhan. InshaAllah, Qibla, Sufi Sab, zikr from Ang inshaAllah. الفاتحة قال تبارك وتعالى في شان حبيب الصفا صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله والله اكبر الله اكبر ولله الحمد على ان اولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين امنوا وكانوا يتقون سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Hasbi Rabbi Jalallah Ma fi qalbi ghair Allah Noor Muhammad Sallallah La ilaha illallah Hasbi Rabbi Jalallah Ma fi qalbi ghair Allah Noor Muhammad Sallallah لا إله إلا الله حسبي ربي جل الله ما في قلبي غير الله نور محمد صلى الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا
محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ تعالیٰ بے نیاز ہے اللہ تعالیٰ جسم سے پاک ہے اللہ تعالیٰ اپنے شان کے لحاظ سے حاضر ہے اللہ حاضری اللہ ناظری اللہ مائی اللہ شاہدی اللہ حاضری اللہ ناظری اللہ مائی اللہ شاہدی اللہ حاضری اللہ ناظری اللہ مائی اللہ شاہدی اللہ 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 حق لا الہ الا اللہ محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ 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 
अल्लाह 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 हो अल्लाह हो 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 अल्लाह 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 हो अल्लाह हो 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 अल्लाह 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 हो अखला इलाहा इल्लल्लाह मोहम्मद रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम अल्लाह बेनियाज है अल्लाह ताला जिस्म से पाक है वो अपने शान के लिहाज से हाजिर है अल्लाह वो शाहिद ही अंतल हादी अंतल हक लैसल हादी इल्ला हु अंतल हादी अंतल हक लैसल हादी इल्ला हु अंतल हादी अंतल हक लैसल हादी इल्ला हु या हैयू या कैयूम 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 या हैयू है 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 محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم حدیث خدسی ہے اللہ تعالیٰ بندے کے گمان کے ساتھ ہے جیسا وہ گمان کرتا ہے وہ اس کے ساتھ ہے جب آکے ہوا اکیلے میں اسے یاد کرتا ہے وہ بھی تنہائی میں یاد کرتا ہے اور وہ مجموعے میں یاد کرتا ہے تو وہ بھی اپنے فرشتوں سے بڑھ کے مجموعے میں یاد کرتا ہے سرکار نے فرمایا کہ ذکر ایسا کرو لوگ اسے دیوانہ کہے تو ہمارے ذکر میں کوئی بات ہی نہیں خاص بات ہی نہیں کہ مجد گمنی چاہے گرنی چاہیے تو حضرت حضرت مولانا رومی فرماتے ہیں کہ بانس جو ہے جب الگ ہوتا ہے اس سے بانسری بنتی ہے تو بانس بانسری کی جو دھون ہوتی ہے تو وہ اپنے بانس کے جدائے میں یاد کرتی ہے کہ میں اصل کو یاد کرتی ہے کہ اس سے میں بچھڑ چکی ہیں 
تو ہم بھی اپنے خالہ اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ سے ہم بچھڑے ہیں تو ہم ملنے کی کوشش کر رہے ہیں اس کا ذکر کر رہے ہیں سارے چیز نکال کے پھینک رہے ہیں لا الہ الا اللہ صرف اللہ تعالیٰ کے سوا دل کی دل کے اندر کچھ نہیں رہنا چاہیے اور سرکار نے فرمایا ذاکرین مسکراتے ہوئے جنت میں جائیں گے بتائیے تو کتنی سے بڑی کی بات کیا ہوتی پھر فرمایا کہ سبز باغوں میں چرا کرو صحابہ کرا نے پوچھے یہ رسول اللہ یہ سبز باغ کیا ہے یہ ذکر کے حلقے ہیں جو 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 مجید میں سور دیتے ہو تو ہم کو چاہیے کہ ذکر کے ذکر کے موقع نعرہ تکبیر نعرہ تکبیر نعرہ رسالت نعرہ رسالت علماء اہل سنت سرکار نے یہاں تک فرمایا کہ تمہیں وہ عمل نہ بتلا ہوں تم جسے جہاں سے بہتر ہے اگر تم جہاد میں جاؤ تم دشمنوں کے گردنے کاٹو وہ تمہارے گردنے کاٹو اس سے بھی افضل عمل کیا ہے اللہ کا ذکر ہے مرتے وقت بھی زبان تر رہنی چاہیے اللہ کے ذکر سے یہ ایسا خلہ ہے جس میں شیطان تاخب سے نکلے ایمان لوچنے کے لیے یہ خلہ ہے اس میں ایک شیطان کا کچھ بس نہیں چلتا اور وہ اپنے محفظ خلے میں اس کو ایمان سلامت رہتا ہے تو سرکار کے سرکار کے ایک ایک بات آپ کریں ایک ایک شخص درہم تقسیم کر رہے ہوت پھار کی اتنا ایک شخص ادھر ذکر کر رہے تو وہ ذکر کرنے والا اس درہم تقسیم کرنے والے سے افضر ہے تو حضرات گرامی ابھی ابھی اور ایک ذکر ہے باپ یا محمد یا رحمت یا رسول اللہ یا محمد یا احمد 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 یا رسول اللہ حق لا الہ الا اللہ محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ تبارہ و تعالیٰ کا فیض سرکار ہے جو جہاں صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے لطیب خل پر جاری ہے اور سرکار ہے تو جہاں صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے لطیب خل سے بزریہ اولیاء اکرام کے لطیب خل پر جاری ہے اور بزریہ اولیاء اکرام کے لطیب خل سے ہمارے پیر مرشد کے لطیب خل پر جاری ہے تو ہمارے پیر مرشد کے لطیب خل سے ہم سب کے لطیب خل پر جاری ہے ذکر خفی ہے اس میں مو بن کر کے زبان تارو کو لگا کر دل کے طرف رخ کر کے آنکھ بن کر کے اللہ ہو اللہ اللہ ہو اللہ اللہ ہو اللہ اللہ ہو کا ذکر سانس سے کیجئے قال تبارک و تعالی فی شان حبیب مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان اللہ و ملائکتہ یسلو نان النبی یا ایہا اللذین آمنو صلو علیہ وسلم و تسلیمہ اللہم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم محمد و علیہ وسلم سیدنا و مولانا محمد و بارہ وسلم اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر لا الہ الا اللہ اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر وللہ الحمد علا ان اولیاء اللہ لا قوف علیہم ولہم یحزنون اللہ زین آمنو کانو یتقون سبحان رب کرب العزتی اما اسفون والسلام علی المرسلین والحمد اللہ رب العالمین اقلاع الہ الا اللہ محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علیکہ یا سیدی یا رسول اللہ وعلی علیکہ وعصحابکہ یا سیدی یا حبیب اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashhadu anna muhammad rasul Allah 
أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب حدي دعوة التام وصلاة القائمة في سيدنا محمد وصلاة الفضيلة ودرجة الرافية وغث المقام المحمود الذي وعدته ورزقنا الشفاعة يوم القيامة إنك لا تقل Read your sunnans إن شاء الله
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا حبيب الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا للصلاة حيا للصلاة حيا للفلاح حيا للفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Let's make sure that we close up the gaps and we're standing straight on the line, inshallah. Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Ad-Din Iyaka Na'budu Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladhin An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هنا للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Ad-Din Iyaka Na'bud Wa Iyaka Nasta'in اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين القارعة ما القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن المنفوش فأما من ثقلت موازينه فهو في عيشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر 
الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر, الله أكبر. الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ما ذا الذي يشرع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظه وهو العلي العظيم الفاتح الحمد لله وكفى سلام على عباده الذين صفى ما بعد اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا حبيبي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم تقبل صلاة العشاء مع الجماعة المسلمين وطب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا أدنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وكن عذاب النار إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا حبيب يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا رسول الله انظر حالنا يا حبيب الله اسمع قالنا إننا في برهم من غرق خذ يد سهلنا أشقالنا سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين
الحمد لله وكفى سلام على عباده الذين اصطفى ما بعد اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد بارك وسلم صلاه وسلاما عليك يا حبيبي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وربنا ظلمنا انفسنا وان لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد بارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلاما على سيدنا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Inshallah. If we can get everybody just to come out, I think uh, more people are going to come at the uh, closer to the end. When they smell the food, and then they start to come, inshallah. So please, just make your way. Make your way back, inshallah. And the, uh, the young people, uh, you should come off the, the back of the wall. Alhamdulillah. Akhtar Bhai, you're not that old. You, you come off the wall. Inshallah. We have to make sure you stay awake, inshallah. <laughs> MashaAllah. All right, so we'll start, inshallah. Uh, we'll call it the adult part of the program, inshallah. Bila uh, ta'khir, we'll start with tilawat uh, of the Quran once again. Dawat e sukhan ma deton hafiz Yahya Nathalia ko, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا إن أولياء عليهم لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون لهم البشرى في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة لا تبديل لكلمات الله ذلك هو الفوز العظيم ألا إن أولي لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون 
الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون لهم البشرى لهم البشرى في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة لا تبديل لكلمات الله ذلك هو الفوز العظيم ولا يحزنك قولهم إن العزة لله جميعا هو السميع العليم آمنت بالله صدق الله العلي العظيم MashaAllah. Nare takbir. Nare risalat. Nare risalat. Nare hedari. Nare ghausia. We said nare ghausia. Yeah, ghausia. You should be proud. Kadri kar. Kadri rak. Kadriyo me utha. Kadri Abdul Kadir. Kudrat nama ke waste. Nare ghausia. No murid. No murid. Will enter. Jahannam. Sayyidina Ghaus al Azam radiallahu an walks to the gates of Jahannam. He says, Is my murid inside? No, Ya Ghaus. You should have fakhr that you are those individuals who love Sayyidina Ghaus al Azam radiallahu an. And not even that, a murid of Sayyidina Ghaus al Azam radiallahu an will not leave this dunya without doing sincere toba. Yo, you should have. Nari takbir is great. That is our Iman. Nari Risalat is our Jan. Narai Hadri is our Pehchan. And Narai Ghosia is also our Iman. Yes, they're the ones who taught us about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You love the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam because of the great men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Insha'Allah, we'll start our uh, son, uh, Nat Khani, insha'Allah. Dawate Sukhan Madetan, Hafiz Kashif Sabko, insha'Allah. Narai Takbir. Nare Risalat, Sana Khane Mustafa. Guru Shari Padiya Sallallahu Alaika Ya Rasulullah wa sallam alayka ya habib Allah ba awaz e buland padhiye sallallahu alayka ya Rasulullah wa sallam alayka ya Habib Allah Allah ki sarta ba kadam shan hai ye insaan nahi insaan wo insaan hai ye Quran to Quran to iman batata hai ine aur iman ye kehta hai meri jaan hai ye ba awaz buland padhiye sallallahu Alayka ya Rasul Allah Wa sallam alayka ya Habib Allah Inshallah, we will be able to do this.
تمام بھائیوں سے گزارش ہے کہ میرے ساتھ مل کر پڑھیں اللہ 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 لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ آمنا من رسول اللہ 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 لا موجود الا اللہ لا مشہود الا اللہ لا موجود الا اللہ لا مشہود الا اللہ لا مقصود الا اللہ لا معبود الا اللہ 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 لا الہ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ آمنا من رسول اللہ اللہ واحد و یکتا ہے ایک خدا بس تنگا ہے اللہ واحد و یکتا ہے ایک خدا بس تنگا ہے کوئی نہ اس کا غم تا ہے ایک ہی سب کی سنتا ہے اللہ 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 لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ آمنا من رسول اللہ 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 مولا دل کا زنگ چھڑا قلب نوری پائے جلا مولا دل کا زنگ چھڑا قلب نوری پاگے جلا دل کو کر دے آئینا دل کو کر دے کائینا جس میں چمکے یہ کلمہ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ آمنا من رسول اللہ 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 سورة شریف پڑھیں صلی اللہ علیکہ یا رسول اللہ وسلم علیکہ یا حبیب اللہ حضور میری تو ساری بہار آپ سے ہے حضور میری تو ساری بہار آپ سے ہے میں بے قرار تھا میں بے قرار تھا 
मेरा करार आप से गए हुजूर मेरी तो सारी बाहर आप से गए कहा वो अर मदीना मेरी हस्ती कहा वो अर मदीना मेरी हस्ती ये हाजरी का सबब बार बार आप से गए हुजूर मेरी तो सारी बाहर आप से गए गुनागा गार गो आ बड़ी नदामत है गुनागा गार गो आ नदामत है कसम खुदा की ये मेरा वकार आप से है कसम खुदा की ये मेरा वकार आप से गए मेरी तो हस्ती क्या गए मेरे गरीब नवाज मेरी तो हस्ती क्या गए मेरे गरीब नवाज जो मिल रहा है मुझे सारा प्यार आप से गए मैं बेकरार था मेरा आप से गए हुजूर मेरी तो सारी बाहर आप से गए मोहब्बतों का सिला ऐसे कौन देता गए मोहब्बतों का सिला ऐसे कौन देता है सुन गेरी जालियों में यार गार आप से गए सुन गेरी जालियों में यार गार आप से गए हुजूर मेरी तो सारी बाहर आप से गए
ماشاء اللہ یہ تھے حافظ کاشف چشتی صاحب وا کیا مرتبہ اے غوث ہے بالا تیرا وا کیا مرتبہ اے غوث ہے بالا تیرا اونچے اونچوں کے سروں سے قدم آلا تیرا اونچے اونچوں کے سروں سے قدم آلا تیرا اور سر بلا کیا کوئی جانے کہ ہے کیسا تیرا سر بلا کیا کوئی جانے کہ ہے کیسا تیرا اولیاء ملتے ہیں آنکھیں وہ ہے تلوا تیرا اولیاء ملتے ہیں آنکھیں وہ ہے تلوا تیرا اور تو حسنی حسینی کیوں نہ مہیو دین ہو تو حسنی حسینی کیوں نہ مہیو دین ہو اے خزر مجمع بحرین ہے چشمہ تیرا اے خزر مجمع بحرین ہے چشمہ تیرا سیدنا غوث العظم رضی اللہ عنہ When he finished his talim and he became an alim, Arabic was not his first language. So his ustad asked him, say, Ya Abdul Qadir, start to give bayan. He said, Oh, my beloved ustad, how can I speak? I don't know their zuban. How will I speak to the Arabs? That same night, he had the didar of his grandfather, Sayyidina Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, Oh my grandson, why are you not giving bayan? He says, Ya Dada, he's his grandfather from both sides. Said, Ya my great father, how can I give bayan? I don't speak their language. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Open your mouth. And he gave him his loabe dain seven times. He said, Now go out and speak. The next night, another grandfather of his came into the dream. Sayyidina Ali al Murtada radiallahu an. He says, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came into your dream. He gave your lawabi dain seven times. I'm also here to give you my lawabi dain. And Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza radiallahu an gave his lawabi dain six times. And he says, now go out and speak. Spread the message of your grandfather. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azam radiallahu an started to give bayan in full Arabic. After the didar of his grandfather Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sayyidina Ali al-Murtada. Now, you want to see karamat? Without a loudspeaker, 70,000 people sat in the majlis of Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azam radiallahu an. And just like the first person in the first saf would listen, the one at the end, the 70,000 person would listen the same way. Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azam radiallahu an. People often say he's not a mujaddid. Allahu Akbar. He said he's not a mujaddid. How is he not a mujaddid coming from Ghilan to Baghdad infiltrated by Christians? And he changed the scenario of Baghdad Sharif. He cut the fitna of those individuals who said Jesus alayhi salam is the son of God. Naudhu billah. How is he not a reviver of the deen? Allahu Akbar. We are humble slaves and servants of Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azam radiallahu an. Allahu Akbar. Bila ta'khir, insha'Allah, we'll ask Zuhair Bai to come up, Zuhair Qadri to come up once again and recite uh, a nat in the shan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You can do Mother Sharif, insha'Allah, if you want. Whatever you prepared, insha'Allah. اللهم صل على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليك يا رسول الله وسلم عليك يا 
गए जब के ईसा नूर गुल क्यों ना शब अश बदन से जाते नूर गुल क्यों ना शब अश बदन से जाते सुत बाए समझ कर है जमाने जाते क्योंकि वो रोजा है जहाँ दिल नहीं तोरे जाते माशा वाह क्या जूदो करम है शहे बथा तेरा वाह क्या जूदो करम है शहे बथा तेरा नहीं सुनता ही नहीं मांगने वाला तेरा नहीं सुनता ही नहीं मांगने वाला तेरा और फैज हैं ये शाए तस्नीम निराला तेरा फैज है ये शहे तस्नीम निराला तेरा आप प्यासों के तजस्स में है दरिया तेरा आप प्यासों के तजस्स में है दरिया तेरा और फर्श वाले फर्श वाले तेरी शौकत का उलू क्या जाने फर्श वाले हु नोज पीपल हु वॉक अराउंड दी अर्थ फर्श वाले मी एंड यू फर्श वाले तेरी शौकत का उलू क्या जाने खुशरवा अर्श पे उड़ता है फरेरा तेरा खुशरवा अर्श पे उड़ता है फरेरा तेरा और मैं तो मालिक ही कहूंगा मैं तो मालिक ही कहूंगा कि वो मालिक के हबीब मैं तो मालिक ही कहूंगा कि वो मालिक के हबीब यानी महबूब और मुहिब में नहीं मेरा तेरा यानी महबूब और मुहिब में नहीं मेरा तेरा आई फिक दिस कलाम फॉर दिस शेयर राइट नाउ सईदी आला हजरत रदी आन सेज हरम ओ हरम ओ तैबाओ या हो बगदाद हरम ओ तैबाओ या बगदाद जिधर कीजिए निगाह जिधर कीजिए निगाह यू लुक एट हरम इन मशद अल हरम यू लुक एट मशद नबी तैबा मदीनत मनवरा यू लुक एट बगदाद हरमो तैबाओ वाह बगदाद जिधर कीजिए निगाह ज्योत पड़ती है तेरी नूर है छंटा तेरा अल्लाह यार या गौ से आजम या गौ से आजम दस्तगीर हरमो तैबाओ बगदाद जिधर कीजिए निगाह ज्योत पड़ती है नूर है छंटा तेरा अल्लाह अकबर वे एवर यू लुक द नूर ऑफ द प्रॉफ़िट मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम इज आल्सो इन बगदाद द ग्रैंड सन ऑफ रसूल सल्लाम और तेरी सरकार में लाता है रजा उसको शफी जो मेरा गौस है और लाडला बेटा तेरा जो मेरा गौस है और लाडला बेटा तेरा अल्लाह अकबर कबीरा रिस्पेक्टेड ब्रदर्स वी हैव वी हैव द प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लाम लाडला Sayyid na Ghaus al Azam radi Allahu an who we are. If you understand their martaba, they were sitting with their shagird. There was three or four of them sitting. They were learning from Sayyid na Ghaus al Azam radi Allahu an. And Sayyid na Ghaus al Azam put his hand like this, and when his hand came back, it was wet like crazy, drenched. 
The students asked, Ya Ghaus al Azam, what happened? You put your hand out, now your hand is wet. He told his students, This is not your mamla, you continue reading. Two hours later, a qafla came, drenched, drenched in water. And they came, the students looked and said, What happened to you guys? We were on a boat. The boat was drowning. We yelled out, Ya Abdul Qadir Jilani. All of a sudden, the arm of Sayyidina Ghaus al Azam radiallahu an lifted the kinara. Lifted the boat to the kinara. Allahu Akbar. This is the individual we are talking about today. With the fuzzle of Allah, the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the men of Allah can do these karamats by the will of Allah. And who is Sayyidina Ghaus al Azam radiallahu an? They asked, my Nabi, a Christian asked, my Nabi, they were talking about Isa alayhi salam, my Nabi used to lift dead people, murde ko zinda karte the. He says, you are a Muslim, did your Nabi do this? Allahu Akbar Kabira. Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azam radiallahu an. He said, you're talking about my Nabi. You're talking about my Nabi. Come take me to the graveyard. Let me show you what his grandson, his ghulam can do. Allahu Akbar. He says, pick any qabr. Pick any qabr. And watch how my Allah does fuzzal. They walk to the qabr. Before doing so, they said, what if you can't raise the person? Sayyidina Ghaus al-Azam radiallahu an says, whatever you say, I'm ready to accept whatever you say. But what if I do? What if I do raise this person? I don't want you to come to my astana, jaru marna. You don't have to come. You don't have to be a ghulam for me. Read my grandfather's kalima. Read my grandfather's kalima. That's all I want. Become his ghulam. They went to a qabr. And they said, my dada ka dada. My grandfather's grandfather doesn't even know who this qabr is. Raise this person. Allahu Akbar. Sayyidina Ghaus al Azam radiallahu an had their stick, hit it onto the grave, and said, By the will of Allah, Ut, stand up. By the will of Allah. This girl, the lady that stood up, was from the tribe of Bani Israel. And she said, While she was getting up, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at my naseeb, she says. I was in the tribe of Bani Israel of Sayyidina Musa. Now because of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Ghilani radiallahu an, I became an ummati of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Ya Rasulullah. Ya Rasulullah. MashaAllah. Bila ta'khir insha'Allah. Hamari mashoor, Tanto ke mashoor, Sana Khan Mustafa. MashaAllah. He doesn't need an introduction. So I will not give him an introduction. I will, give, I will say, that this individual, everybody sitting here, young, middle-aged, nobody's old inshallah, young and middle-aged, everybody make dua for this brother. Wherever there's a mafil, wherever there's a program, he has always come. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and his father and his entire family inshallah. Bila ta'khir, janab Adil Iqbal sir. Sallallahu alayhi wa ya Sallallahu alayhi wa ya Ya Rasulallah Wa sallam alayka Ya Habib Allah Padhiya sallallahu alayka Ya Ya Rasulallah Wa sallam तेरे टुकड़ों पे पले 
غیر کی ٹھوکر پہ نہ ڈال جھر کیا کھائے کہاں چھوڑ کے صدقہ تیرا پڑیے صلی اللہ علیہ کیا یا رسول اللہ اور تیری سرکار میں لاتا ہے رضا اس کو شفی جو میرا غوث ہے اور لادلا بیٹا تیرا پڑیے صلی اللہ علیہ کیا یا رسول اللہ وسلم تیری جالیوں کے نیچے تیری رحمتوں کے سائے تیری جالیوں کے نیچے تیری رحمتوں کے سائے جسے دیکھنی ہو جنت وہ مدینہ دیکھ آئے جسے دیکھنی ہو جنت وہ مدینہ دیکھ آئے در مصطفیٰ کی عظمت کا ثبوت اور کیا ہو در مصطفیٰ کی عظمت کا ثبوت اور کیا ہو یہاں بادشاہ بھی آئے تو فقیر بن کے آئے یہاں بادشاہ بھی آئے تو فقیر بن کے آئے روزے کے سامنے میں یہ دعائیں مانگتا تھا روزے کے سامنے میں یہ دعائیں مانگتا تھا میری جان نکل تو جائے یہ سما بدل نہ جائے میری جان نکل تو جائے یہ سما بدل نہ جائے لو چلا ہوں میں لاحد میں میرے مصطفیٰ سے کہہ دو لو چلا ہوں میں لاحد میں میرے مصطفیٰ سے کہہ دو کہ ہوا تیری گلی کی مجھے چھوڑنے کو آئے کہ ہوا تیری گلی کی مجھے چھوڑنے کو آئے اے ریاض تو جو چاہے 
के हो कब्र तेरी रोशन तुझे चाहिए के दिल में शमाइश्क की जलाए तुझे चाहिए के दिल में शमाइश्क की जलाए जमी में ली नहीं होती जमन मैला नहीं होता जमी में ली नहीं होती जमन मैला नहीं होता जमी में ली नहीं होती जमन मैला नहीं होता मोहम्मद के गुलामों का मोहम्मद के गुलामों का कफन मैला नहीं होता मोहम्मद के गुलामों का कफन मैला नहीं होता मोहब्बत कम वाले से ये जज्बा है सुनो लोगों मोहब्बत कम वाले से ये जज्बा है सुनो लोगों ये जिस मन में समा जाए ये जिस मन में समा जाए वो मन मैला नहीं होता ये जिस मन में समा जाए वो मन मैला नहीं होता गुलों को चूम लेते हैं सहर नम शब नमी कतरे गुलों को चूम लेते हैं सहर नम शब नमी कतरे नबी की नात सुन ले तो चमन मैला नहीं होता गुलों को चूम लेते हैं सहर नम शब नमी कतरे नबी की नात सुन ले तो चमन मैला नहीं होता जो नाम मुस्तफा चूमे नहीं दुखती कभी आंखें जो नाम मुस्तफा चूमे नहीं दुखती कभी आंखें पहन ले प्यार जो का बदन मैला नहीं होता पहन ले प्यार जो का पहन ले प्यार जो का बदन मैला नहीं होता नबी का दामन रहमत पकड़ लो है जहा वालो नबी का दामन रहमत पकड़ लो है 
जहां वालो रहे जब तक ये हाथों में चलन मैला नहीं होता रहे जब तक ये हाथों में रहे जब तक ये हाथों में चलन मैला नहीं होता मोहम्मद के गुलामों का कफन मैला नहीं होता ने मते बाट ताजे संत वो जी शान गया ने मते बाट ने मते बाट जिस समीत वो जी शान गया साथ ही मुनशी राहमत का कलम दान गया साथ ही मुनशी राहमत का कलम दान गया ले खबर जल्द के गैरों की तरफ ध्यान ले खबर जल्द के गैरों की तरफ ध्यान गया मेरे मौला मेरे आका तेरे कुर्बान गया मेरे मौला मेरे आका तेरे कुर्बान गया ने मते बाटता दिल है वो दिल जो तेरी याद से मामूर रहा दिल है वो दिल जो तेरी याद से मामूर रहा सर है वो सर जो तेरे कदमों पे कुर्बान गया दिल है वो दिल जो तेरी याद से मामूर रहा सर है वो सर जो तेरे कदमों पे कुर्बान गया सर है वो सर जो तेरे कदमों पे कुर्बान गया ने मते बाटता और आज ले उनकी पन्हा मदद मांगुन से आज ले उनकी पन्हाज मदद मांगुन से फिर न मानेंगे काया मत में अगर मान गया फिर न मानेंगे काया मत में अगर मान गया और तुम पर मेरे आका की नायत न सही और तू पर मेरे आका की इनायत न 
सही नजदियों कलमा पढ़ाने का भी एहसान गाया नजदियों कलमा पढ़ाने का भी एहसान गाया ने मत बांटता जिस संत वो जीशान गाया ने मत बांटता इधर भी हो नजर करम गौ से आजम मीठे दिनों दुनिया का गम गौ से आजम मीठे दिनों दुनिया का गम गौ से आजम है गर्दन पे तेरी कदम मुस्तफा का है गर्दन पे तेरी कदम मुस्तफा का वली तेरे जेरे कदम गौ से आजम वली तेरे जेरे कदम गौ से आजम इधर भी हो नजर करम गौ से आजम मीठे दिनों दुनिया का गम गौ से आजम तू जिसके लिए चाहे लिख दे दिलायत तू जिसके लिए चाहे लिख दे दिलायत तेरे हाथ में है कलम गौ से आजम तेरे हाथ में है कलम गौ से आजम इधर भी हो नजर करम गौ से आजम मिटे दिनों दुनिया का गम गौ से आजम मिटे दिनों दुनिया का गम गौ से आजम सल्ले अला नबी ना सल्ले अला मोहम्मद सल्ले अला शफी ना सल्ले अला मोहम्मद सर कार गौ से आजम नजर करम खुदारा सर का रे गौ से आजम नजर करम खुदारा मेरा खाली का सब है दो मैं फकीर हूँ तुम्हारा सर का रे गौ से आजम नजर करम खुदारा जोली को मेरी भर दो या गौस जोली को मेरी भर दो वरना कहे दुनिया ऐसे सखी का मंगता फिरता है मारा मारा सर कार गौ से आजम नजर करम खुदारा सब का कोई न कोई दुनिया में आसरा है सब का कोई न कोई दुनिया में आसरा है मेरा बजुज तुम्हारे कोई नहीं सहारा 
सर का रे गौ से आजम नजर करम खुदार मौला अली का सद का इबने अली का सद का मौला अली का सद का ख्वाजा पिया का सद का मौला अली का सद का अहमद राजा का सद का मेरी लाज रख लो या गो मैं फकीर हूँ तुम्हारा सर कार गो से आजम नजरे करम खुदार माशा माशा दरोज जनाब आदिल इकबाल reciting the kalam in the shan of habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam the time which we were waiting alhamdulillah our guest speaker today he has just arrived and alhamdulillah we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his arrival we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward each and everyone who has been and who is attending in this mahfil may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our efforts inshallah since Inshallah while we are on our way to ask our guest speaker to speak tonight inshallah some of us we might not know who is this speaker who is this sheikh this sheikh this speaker ours of today he is the that personality who studied and he got the ijaza from sheikh imam muhammad ibn al arawi al maki the personality whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has granted him so much of knowledge that alhamdulillah in the entire gta he has been serving the deen for the past 10 years what more do we need to know about the personality today alhamdulillah we are blessed shaykhun al karam nurahibuk jami'a والله كنا ننتظرك لزيارتك والحمد لله ولكن اليوم الحمد لله انت هنا الحمد لله والله سبحانه وتعالى يجزي خير جزاء لجهودك وهذا هو منزلك لا تردد اليوم الحمد لله اكرمكم الله ولكن الحمد لله نحن لانتظار لنصيحتك من 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 منك ان شاء الله والله سبحانه وتعالى يجزي خير جزاء ان شاء الله وي لايك تو اسك حضرت عامر صاحب ان شاء الله تو give as a token of appreciation to hazrat insha allah nare takbir nare takbir nare risalat nare risalat ulama ahl sunnat ulama ahl sunnat umrah mubarak allah barak allah fiikum and sheikh just came back from umrah alhamdulillah alhamdulillah wa shukrullah assalamu alaikum all of you wa alaikum assalam الحمد لله بارك الله فيكم جزاك الله ما شاء الله ناري تكبير ناري رسالة استغفر الله استغفر الله بارك الله فيكم جميعا ان شاء الله الحمد لله اتس الله بليسنج الحمد لله يس الله بليس اس وينت فور عمره اند وي جيت تو سبيند الحمد لله تو ويكس ان المدينه وذ بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم هيرينج هيز بليسنجز الحمد لله Uh, may Allah bless all of you, bless this gathering, inshallah, bless uh, this beautiful center, this beautiful sheikhs and imams and their da'wah and their work for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum ajma'in jazakumullah khairan wa astaghfirullah. Thank you so much. I don't deserve all that, wallahi. You know, this is your generosity and this is your karam and this is, you know, alhamdulillah, may Allah bless you for all that. And may Allah reward you for your niyyah, for your intention. Allahumma amin ya rabbal alamin alhamdulillah i was honored uh, by our brothers to to come today and 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 join you uh, in this beautiful nice beautiful gatherings uh, celebrating all of us together the the rahma of allah that started with his beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and never stopped and continue to his inheritors the awliya of allah the people of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I would start with the salah on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala habibillah wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidi khalqillah wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidi walad adam. 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله وصحبه حق قدره ومقداره العظيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا واجعلنا ممن يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسنه اللهم آمين والحمد لله رب العالمين The awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the wali of Allah is something very important in our life as a Muslim ummah. As this ummah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this ummah very unique. Started from its beloved prophet and the very special prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and the very special message, the Quran, and the very special religion of Allah al-Islam. And, and, and this khasa'as, these qualities, Allah bless this ummah, is continuing and, and never stopped until end of life, even in the day of judgment and even when the believers go to Jannatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when we talk first about the wali of Allah, wali, this word wali, it means a friend, a close friend. And, and the word wali, it means the person who is very near and very close to you. Wali also means a beloved one. Wali also means a person who is in charge of something or someone. Wali also it means a ruler. Wali also means supporter and nasser, the one who gives help and support and respond to the call of those who are in trouble and those who are in need. Wali also is a great supporter and the fast supporter and responders as well. And the beautiful words of Wali, of the Wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when a person being titled by the word Wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all these beautiful meanings will apply on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is the Wali of that great servant and it applies also in that servants, the wali of Allah, because he is the wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali is the person who increases the ta'ah and continue his ta'ah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The khair keeps coming and the responding to Allah keeps coming from his heart all the time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, non-stop during the days, during the nights, all the time. And the barakah, and the karama and the riaya, the special care of Allah, it keeps coming to him as well, days and nights, even while he's sleeping. The barakah and the reward and the special care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps coming to him all the time and non-stop. Wali is the person who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected his heart. And Allah kept his heart for him alone. Saved his heart from his own nafs and saved his heart from the dunya and the shaytan as well. Wali is a person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept his jawarih, protect his jawarih, his body limbs from disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who Allah make him internally and externally his servant, his special servant, and he deserved the word mukhlas, the one who been chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wali of Allah, the one who obligated to follow the Sharia and the Deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the beautiful wor words of the Wali is the Qareeb. Wali means the Qareeb, the one who is near, the one who is close. Because every ta'a and every respond you give for, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will carry you to Allah. It brings you closer. With every ta'a, every time you respond to Allah, you respond to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa it's like an airplane will take you, brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those are khasatullah, the special people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we, we believe in that. And, 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 and from the wali side, that the wali is the one who filled up his love, his heart with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he started it with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the special, beautiful, divine love. And then that love purified his hearts completely. So create the hal of a safa, pureness inside his heart. So you open his heart, you look, you just see love. Love to whom? To all creation of Allah. 
because he sees them all belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why he gives respect, he gives love, love and care to all creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, regardless who they are, what's their color, what their language, where they're from, it doesn't matter to him. What matters to him is he or she belongs to Allah. That's why I love him and I love her. And that love and that pureness in the heart has produced in the heart a great amount of sincerity, ikhlas for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then this, his heart, it became a producer of the ikhlas. So nothing comes from his heart to Allah unless that's filled with ikhlas. So the ikhlas, the purity, the love, if you put it in order together. And because of that, his ta'at has increased to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He doesn't look at the ta'at as, as, as an extra job or, or heavy on his soul. He loves it and he rushes to it even before its time. It's just like you feel that love in the beautiful words of our beloved Prophet وسلم, when they used to call the adhan and they wait for the salah and the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, looks for Bilal and said, Ya Bilal, arihna biha ya Bilal. Oh Bilal, Get up, call the iqama, bring comfort to our soul, Bilal. It's just, Rasulullah is all, every second in his life, connected with Allah. But when it comes to the ta'a that Allah named, which is the salah, then the comfort is more and more, because this ta'a named by Allah. So they seek the comfort in the ta'a, and they find the ta'a is something that beloved to their Lord, so that's why they love the ta'a, because of the love of Allah inside that ta'a. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always close to them, near to them. Allah surround them with his rahmah, Allah surround them with his love, and Allah surround them with his ihsan as well, because they deserve it by the blessings and the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then keeps getting closer and closer to Allah until that wilaya comes. And the beautiful hadith Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلِ حَتَّى أُحِبَّ and, and my servants keeps on coming closer and closer to me through the nafil that he performed for me until I love him. So my servants, Allah didn't say a servant or the servant. Allah said, my this is mine, this is mine, this belongs to me. This is a great announcement of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to that servant. So when you hear the word, he is Allah's, that means we have to be careful. So keeps coming closer and closer and closer and closer to me. So he wants more nearness to Allah. He wants more love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that drink, when you drink from that glass, you need more and more. That is the ka'as al-hub of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the results comes from that, as Allah said, hatta uhibba, until I love him. Then he got the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali of Allah is the one who emptied his heart completely from everything but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then his heart at that time became a mirror. You see Allah through. You see the nur of Allah through it. You see the hidayah of Allah through it. You see the knowledge of Allah through it. It became a mirror. Just like every sign that Allah created. And Allah says, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ In which sign of your Lord you deny you can should see Allah through this and through that. So the awliya, their hearts became the mirror. When you look at them, you don't see them. You see the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, narrated in Bukhari in Adab al-Mufrad. He said, should I tell you, should I tell you, who is the best of you? Ala ukhbirukum bi khiyarikum. Should I tell you who is the best of you? The best one. This is not the better. This is the top one. They said, yes, Ya Rasulullah, please. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Allah. Those who, when you see them, you remember Allah. Subhanallah. When I see, see the Umar, I remember Umar. I know because Umar is Umar. 
But when I see Umar, I don't see Umar. I see Allah. Where is Umar? Where is Umar? I'm, I'm looking at Umar. But Umar has gone, has melted completely in the love of Allah. Then the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took over Umar. So when I see Umar, I see his beloved one, not himself. So that is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appeared in these servants. That's why Rasulullah sallam considered them as the best of you. Khiyarikum, the best one of you. That's alladheena idha ru'u dhukur Allah. When you see them, you see Allah, you remember Allah right away. They take you to Allah. They have disappeared completely. They vanished completely. You only see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are like a window where you can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through them. Where you can remember Allah right away. Everything about Allah appears in these servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali of Allah is the one who receives the nur of Allah in his heart then this nur reflects in the universe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali of Allah is the one who receives the rahmah of Allah in his heart. Then he spreads this rahmah to all creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali of Allah is the one who receives the hidayah of Allah, the guidance of Allah in his heart. Then he guides the creation of Allah through that hidayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali of Allah is the one whose heart is nourished by the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the whole universe is nourished by that love inside his heart, which is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali of Allah is who was the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is, is what motivates his obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wali of Allah is the one who found the sweetness of that love and ibadatullahi subhanahu wa ta'ala because it brings him nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wilaya of Allah, it's not by performing so much ibadat, it's not by the amount of the ibadah, it's by the quality and the purity in that ibadah you do for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the wilaya. The wilaya requires a clean heart, beautiful heart, pure heart that has no hatred inside it towards anything in this world. Just love, rahma comes from their heart, just like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And based on that, we can understand that the wali of Allah is the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala among his creation. The one who follows the beautiful sharia of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one who follows the beautiful sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the one who guides the creation of Allah to this beautiful sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah said in the Quran, Ala inna awliya Allahi la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. Allah gave the certificate of safety of protection to his awliya in this dunya and announcements to everyone. Allah said, listen, the friends of Allah shall have no fear, nor shall, have, shall they grieve. The awliya of Allah, those who have believed and have been fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lahum al bushra fil hayat dunya wal akhira. The bishara, the good news, it belongs to them. It's for them in the dunya. And the akhirah too. So that means the barakat it comes to them in the dunya and the akhirah from Allah. لا تبديل لكلمات الله ذلك هو الفوز العظيم. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the hadith al-Qudsi من عاد لي وليا فقد آذنته في الحرب. Whoever shows enmity to a wali, a friend of mine, then I have declared war against him. Whoever try to harm one of my awliya. That means what happened now when you try to harm a wali of Allah, it's like you're not harming the wali, you're harming Allah himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. As that wali, what he did when you see him, you don't see him, you see Allah. At the other side, when you come, someone comes to harm a wali of Allah, the wali is not there, Allah is there. So you are harming Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ahsanul Muhsineen. 
subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِي بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّا افْتَرَضْتُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلَ حَتَّى أُحِبَّ فَإِنْ أَحْبَبْتَهُ And when I love him, كنت سمعه الذي يسمع به وبصره الذي يبصر به ويده التي يطش بها ورجله التي يمشي على الله الله What's left? That I'll become his sight, I'll become his hearing, I'll become his hands, I'll become his leg. I'll become, I'll become, I'll become, I'll become. Why? Because same thing, when he became a beloved, when he became a lover of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you see nothing in him but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is it true, since you did that to me, I will do this back to you as well from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You give me your heart, I'll give you everything. And then, وَإِن سَأَلَنِي لَأُعْطِيَنَّ If he asks me, I will answer, I will give him what he asked. This is the Hadith Qudsi in Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is Allah promised and announced that the dua of the Wali of Allah is guaranteed accepted. That's why this is a sign from Allah that if you ask the Wali to pray for you, this dua for you is accepted. It's a teachings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like he taught the first generation, the Sahaba, and the second, and the whole Ummah. وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ اِذْظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ جَاءُوكَ وَاسْتَغْفَرُوا اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفَرُ لَهُمُ الرَّسُولُ لَوَجَدُوا اللَّهَ تَوَّابًا رَحِيمًا If they, if they wrong their self, they came to you, O Muhammad, and they seek Allah's forgiveness, they seek Allah forgiveness in your present. And then you also, Ask Allah to forgive them. At that time, they find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all forgiving, all merciful. Because they have a great jah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the beloved special people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to this ummah. So the more awliya we have in our community, in our societies, in our countries, in our ummah, that means more rahmah we have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the awliya of Allah are the sign of rahmatullahi subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ummah. The wali and the awliya of Allah are very important in our life. We do not worship awliya Allah. We do not worship the messenger of Allah. We worship Allah alone. In the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa we believe la ilaha illallah. There's no one deserved to be worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we believe Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That's the ibadah of Allah must be from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa But what we do here, we try to understand the maqam of the awliya that Allah gave them. Because part of the following ibadatullah and part of understanding the deen of Rasulullah and part of following the sunnah of Rasulullah is to value what Allah values. And here in the Quran and the ahadith and the seerah, it shows us the value of the awliya of Allah. So that's why for us when we gather and talk about the awliya of Allah and their barakat, we try to follow the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And that's what we get from these type of majalis. The awliya are very important in our life. We must understand something very important. The deen is the deen of Allah. When we say deen, this is belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the only one who can make deen. I cannot make deen, you cannot make deen. Nobody has the, any authority to make deen. The only one makes deen is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the deen when it comes from Allah must be followed the way how Allah wants it to be. I cannot come and you cannot come and change the deen. No, this better, the, the deen to be like that. The old nations used to do that. But this nation is the nation of sami'na wa ata'na. That is the first fact. The second fact is the hidayah is the hidayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only one who gives the hidayah is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no one else. Allah has created his religion in a specific system. And to understand this system is very important to perform the right ibadah to Allah just followed the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This system of the religion 
must come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based in the way how Allah wants it to be. This religion, the system of the whole deen, Allah built it in three pillars. And these remember this all the time. So the religion of Allah, the deen of Allah, Allah builds it in three pillars. These thalatha to arkan. The first one is the deen. The second one is the hidayah, the guidance. The third one is the hadi, the guider. These are the three pillars of the deen. The first pillar, the deen itself, is the sharia of Allah, the law of Allah, the message of Allah, the minhaj of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this minhaj built in three maqams, three levels. The level of Islam, and the level of Iman, and the level of Ihsan. And these three of them are proven in Hadith Jibreel when he came. Sayyidina Umar narrated that hadith when he asked the Prophet Sallallahu tell me about Islam, tell me about Iman, and tell me about Ihsan. The second thing is the Hidayah, the Hidayah of Allah. The Hidayah is a hidden in force, a hidden power that comes from Allah, targets the hearts of the creation of Allah. It comes the Hidayah from the heaven, written the name, this goes to Ahmed. The Hidayah comes from Allah, search where is Ahmed, son of, it goes, enters his heart. Allah. If it's written under his name, it won't go to Ali, it won't go to Zayd, it goes to Ahmed. Zayd will have a different Hidayah, will come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come. So a hidden power that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the heaven. And Allah is the one who has the control over these type of Hidayahs. The third one is the Hadi. The guider. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses to guide the creation of Allah to Allah. And this is 100% Allah's job. Allahu a'lamu, Allah said in the Quran, Allahu a'lamu haythu yaj'alu risalata. Allah knows best where to put and place his message. You know, put it in his hands, in his hands, in her hands, in her hands. That's Allah's job. So Allah chooses his messengers. So the messengers of Allah, they carry the hidayah of Allah. They carry the deen of Allah. So they are the hadi, they are the guiders. And then when the messengers leave this life, does the hadi end in this, in this ummah? No, the guider does not end in this ummah. The guider always exists in this ummah. Then the awliya of Allah are the inheritors of the messengers of Allah who carry the same job of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are the three pillars are very important. And we look at the first pillar, the deen, the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will find this has a three aqsam, three, 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 uh, three levels, the Islam and the Iman and the Ihsan. And you'll find each level has its own scholars, its own people who are specialists in this topics. Those they do the fiqh, those they do the hadith, those who do tafsir, those who do the aqidah, those all goes under the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah built these schools and these scholars and spread the knowledge among them. Why? To, to, to spread, to teach and, and, and the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people. But what is the goal of the Islam? The goal of the Islam is to elevate you to the level of the Iman. Allah does not need the external salah we do. Allah, when we do a qurbani, Allah doesn't take the meat of it. When we give the sadaqah, Allah doesn't take this dollar. That's it goes back to us. It goes back to us. Allah doesn't need that. Allah doesn't take it. Then what is the goal of it? The goal of it that's for the Islam to elevate you to the level of Iman. Allah, then the Iman will give you stability in your life. You pray, you do zakah, sadaqat, hajj, everything, alhamdulillah, completed. So now in your life, you're going to face the destiny of Allah. Things are going to be at your favor, things going to be against your favor. So what you're going to do at that time? Then the yaqeen in Allah, the trust in Allah, the belief in Allah, the belief in destiny, all these things, it comes appearing from the maqam of al-iman. You cannot complete your life and balance between your worldly life, the dunya life, and the spiritual side of your life without the pillars of al-iman. 
So that's why the pillars of Islam been announced five clear. And the pillars of Iman as well been announced by Rasulullah Sallallahu one by one. And then what is the goal of the Islam? To elevate you to the Iman. Then what is the goal of the Iman? To elevate you to the Ihsan. Subhanallah. The pillars of Islam are a lot. Pillars of Iman are a lot. Come to the pillars of Islam. Only two pillars. What are they? The Ihsan is and ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tara. To worship Allah. Because the Iman and the Islam is worshipping. But how? You won't understand how until you reach the Ihsan. So what the Ihsan says? To worship Allah as you see him. Allah. Where is the hijab? Khalas. Allah. It's all to worship Allah as you see him. So that means, is it possible for this ummah to get to that level? Of course, then what is the point of announcing and bringing this to the ummah? It is not only possible, it's invitation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all this ummah, come up, I need you up there, don't stay there. Come, let your salah elevate you, let your iman elevate you, come to me. So all this purpose of it is to bring you to me, only you and I. So when you worship me, you worship me as you see me. You see your beloved one, then enjoy your salah. That's what Rasulullah said, جُعِلَةُ قُرَّةُ عَيْنِي فِي الصَّلَاةِ uh, the comfort of my soul and my heart are in the salah. Allah, see that changes completely now. And then if you cannot get to that level, what Rasulullah said, أَن تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَى فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَى فَهُوَ يَرَكَ If you cannot see him, then not less than you feel that his eyes are on you. Allah Akbar. So it ends up on what? You and Allah only. No one else in the middle. So that is the purpose. That is the Islam when you look at it. That's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala designs this Islam. So that's why the most important in all these things to elevate us to the Ihsan. And the Ihsan, it's a spiritual. It's, you, it's the journey of your soul to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the knowledge of the Ihsan, the science of the Ihsan, it can be studied in the books because they're not available in books, but can be taken from the hearts of the awliya of Allah. Yes, that is. So the, from the hearts, when you have the suhba, when you take the company of a wali of Allah, when you give the khidmah to serve the wali of Allah, then at that time you deserve to receive from his heart the science of Al-Ihsan. Then the Shaykh will elevate your soul and will take care of your soul as Rasulullah did by taking care of the souls of the Sahaba. And look at these Sahaba. Just before Islam, they used to bury their baby daughters. They used to worship idols, rocks, and they used to do this and that. And then when the Islam came, they submitted to the Prophet to the guider of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he says something, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا They do. They don't put their brain all the time. No. Explain this why and why not that. Why this way? Why not that way? They don't have such things. That's why they reach the highest level fast. MashaAllah. Today people not reaching it because they put their brain in front of everything. Make me understand it first. Why this way? Why not that way? So the, the aql the brain became a hijab between us and Allah. So that's why when you look in Surah Al-Baqarah, the first thing Allah says, Alif Lam Mim, Dal Kitab al Fihi, this book has no doubt in it. Hudan lil muttaqin, it's a guidance to the pious one. Who are they? When Allah described them, the first thing Allah put, Alladina Minuna bil Ghaib. Those who believe in the unseen. And when you say unseen, it means take this and put it at the side. That's what does believing in the unseen. It's believe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to the heart. The brain has nothing to do here. There is another place and area for the brain to work. But when it comes between you and Allah, the unseen, brain cannot understand that. Then after that, Allah says, وَيُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَيُتُزَّكَةَ So the salah and zakah comes after that. 
But at the beginning, the, the, the believing in that is the main thing between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the system how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set it up. Can someone come and say, I will reach to Allah without a guider? No, you cannot. Same someone would come and say, I will believe la ilaha illallah, but I don't want Muhammad Rasulullah. I don't want to believe it. Would Allah accept that from him? But la ilaha illallah is good for Allah. It's what Allah wants. Even if it's what Allah wants, and even if it's the fact and the real things about this life and the haqq, Allah doesn't want it if you don't put it Muhammad Rasulullah. What that means? That means there is one door to Allah, which is Muhammad Rasulullah Wasallam. You want to come to Allah from whichever Allah will not, accept, will not look at your face, will not accept you has to be behind the guider. Why? Because that's how Allah set up the system of the whole deen. Has to be a deen, sharia, and then a hidayah, and then a guider, a hadi. You cannot break one of these three pillars. Rasulullah sallallahu physically lived from this life. As a human, he lived 63 years and lived sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But is the hadi, this pillar has gone, vanished in this ummah? No. And we never. So who carry this? The people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The awliya of Allah. Because the most trusted people on this religion and this life are the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are the most trusted people. You can take your, your religion from them, from them with full trust. So comfortable, no doubt in it at all. Just like the first generation how they did with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why the awliya of Allah are the nur of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because they present Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They exist in every time, in every area, every region, every city. You know them or you don't know them, that's something else. Because Allah loves his awliya. Allah does not show his awliya to anyone. Allah says, if you deserve to see the friends of Allah, then Allah will guide you to them. Ah, it's not for anyone. They're not available for anyone. If you deserve, deserve in what? In what's in your heart? Because everything is based on what's in your heart. If you have that, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show you the awliya of Allah and will guide you to them. The awliya of Allah they present the Prophet Sallallahu in every time and every region. Allah says, وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ فِيكُمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ So be sure that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is fikum among you, with you. This is not exclusive for the people of the Mecca or just for the first generation. This is for the whole Ummah till end of life. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi exists is with us by his deen, by his sunnah, by his inheritors, the awliya, the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the awliya of Allah are all knowledgeable people. Allah never takes a jahil wali, ignorant wali. Not allowed. This is the system of Allah. And if this person was ignorant and jahil, Allah will teach him. Because Allah said, Allah wa Allah. Fear Allah, then Allah will teach you. Himself. Allah Himself will teach him and will make him knowledgeable person. So when we say wali, it means scholar and knowledgeable person, the one who can take us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the fact we come here is that this religion built the whole deen in these three pillars and no one can come in any day and cancel one, any one of them. So that requires from us to all the time look at the deen and the sharia of Allah and ask Allah for the guidance. That's what we say, ihdina sirat al mustaqim And then look for the guider. Who can take you to Allah? 
So when you read the ayah every rak'ah, we say, اهدين الصراط المستقيم, اهدين الصراط المستقيم. But let's take a second on this ayah, and let's read it again. اهدين الصراط المستقيم. Guide us to the straight path, to the straight way, the way of Allah. All right. And then what's after that? صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم. The way of those who you bestow your favor upon them. Okay, okay. So that means is as exclusive sirat. It's not just the sirat of Allah. This is sirat of a specific people. So that means if I need to take this sirat, I have to find this people because that's their sirat. So that means when we look for the awliya of Allah, if we find them, we find the sirat al mustaqim of Allah. Without them, we cannot find the Sirat al Mustaqim of Allah. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it very clear. And Allah said, Sirat al Ladina. That's exclusive. It's special. Sirat, which not any Sirat. This is, he didn't say Sirat Allah. He could have said Sirat Allah. But no, because that's the system Allah established in this life. Sirat al Ladina of those. Then where are those? Are they gone and they're not coming back? They exist in every time and every place. Go find them. So that's why when you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides you to awliya, to his awliya, that means Allah wishes and wills something good for you. And if you see yourself still not guided to them, that means you need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you to them because without them you cannot go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is going to teach you? Who is going to guide you? Who is going to educate you? Who is going to take care of your soul, of your heart? Who knows the heart, your diseases of, of, of the human's hearts and, and, and the tricks of shayateen and, and except those people, that's who Allah taught them. They know the tariq of Allah and they know how to guide the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why that will take us to understand that means since the awliya of Allah are very important, then that means they have rights on us. So that requires from us to understand what are the rights. Because studying the Quran, studying the Hadith Qudsi, man adali waliyan, whoever shows enmity to any of my wali. So that means I have to be careful. That means I have this Hadith requires from me to study what are the rights of the awliya of Allah. After I study who are they, then I must study what's their rights on me. Because if I don't give them their rights, then I'll be in trouble. I might harm them without knowing that. And the first thing is loving them. Why I have to love them? Oh, because Allah loves them. Yes, if Allah loves them, then you have to love them. You have no choice. Rasulullah said in the hadith, if Allah loves one of his servants, will call Jibreel to call the people of the heavens and the people of the earth. All people of the heaven, all people there, that Allah loves his servants, so son of so and so. Everyone love him, then everyone sami'na wa ta'ana. And same thing to the people of the earth, then his love will spread among the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the love of the wali does not enter your heart, that means you have no heart, you have a rock. That's exactly what does it mean. So loving them, and the hadith Rasulullah sallam told us to pray to Allah, narrated by in Jamal Tirmi, they said, Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak. Oh Allah, I ask you your love. Say, Allah, give me good health. Allah, give me a child. Allah, give me a good job. Say, Allah, give me your love. So the love of Allah is the best rizq you can have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa used to say, and in the other narration, Allah said to the Prophet sallallahu Qul, say, Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak. Allah taught him how to make this dua, how to pray this dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak. Is that all? No. Wa hubba man yuhibbuk. And the love of those whom they love you. Oh, how are you gonna know who loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Isn't the love hidden in the heart? It's something in it. How are you going to know who loves Allah, who doesn't? And based on that, you can love him or not loving him. So that's through the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you have the ikhlas for Allah, Allah will guide you to his beloved one, then Allah will surround you with them. Then you will be with them and they will be with you all the time. Then Allah will create that these beautiful circles, rawabat, that connect these beautiful hearts of the beloved people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, I ask you your love and the love of those who love you. 
والعمل الذي يبلغني حبك and the love of the deed that will make me reach and gain your love so that means what is the purpose of the good amal to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's all about love it's all about love between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your love to these righteous people will grant you jannah that's not from me that's from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yes yuhshar al mar'u ma'a man yuhib the man will be will will be will be, will be will be in the day of judgment will be with those whom he loves he was giving a khutbah sallallahu alayhi wasallam one day and then a bedouin walk in the masjid ya rasulullah when is the day of judgment the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam answer him a different question answer his answer with a question to teach him what the question should sounds like then you say what you have prepared for it <coughs> then he said not much amal I don't have lots of ibadah, but I love Allah and His Messenger. Allah, Yeah. <coughs> sorry. Water. Barakallah. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Just make sure not cold, please. Just a room temperature. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Barakallah. Then he said, The man will be in the gym with those who made Anas ibn Malik, the one who narrated the hadith, he said, we never felt happy in Medina, like since the Prophet ﷺ entered the Medina. Say, this is the second day we felt happy, like this was the second day. Like the same happiness we got when the Prophet ﷺ came to Medina, this was the same thing. It's like Eid for them, celebration. And then he said, look at the fuqih of Anas, he said, and I love Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman, and I wish to be with them in the judgment, even if I don't do like they, like they, as they do. Even my ibadah is not like their ibadah. But I wish to, why? Because of the love. So he understood the love. He understood the, the, the power of the love. Your amal, the ibadah you do, the salah, Allah might accept it, might not. Right or wrong? Allah might. But your love, halas, is accepted because it's love. It's sincere. If it's not sincere, it wouldn't be a love. So the love does not go in the test of qabul or rejection. But the amal goes through the filters, a test, a mizan, scale, to see if it will be accepted or rejected. But the love does not go through that station. The love is accepted right away by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why the love is arja, is more hope for us. But we don't mean love without amal. Of course, we mean the amal, we do the amal, but also the love as well. The second thing is to have adab with the awliya of Allah in their present and in their absence as well and also to serve them and to take care of them and loving them the Rasul ﷺ taught us that you can't be a true believer until you love for others what you love for your own self and this is just a common fox imagine with the awliya of Allah then what you should love to them is more than everyone else so serving them, looking after them, dedicate some times and what Allah blessed you with to serve them and to help them, especially if they are serving the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to defend them as well. If you find yourself in any place, anyone's talking about the awliya of Allah, say something. With adab, of course, but don't sit silent. Defend them and Allah will write this for you because you defended the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unfortunately, many people when they talk about the awliya, they just talk about the karama of the awliya, the miracles of the awliya, what they can do. Oh, this can do this, they can do that. They talk about these things. But the awliya themselves don't care about the karama. They don't, they don't pay attention to the karama. So what we, what's most important things about the awliya is what is their barakah in our life? That's what we should talk about. 
When we have no awliya in our community, that means we're in danger. Because Rasulullah taught us in the hadith, فَإِنَّهُ لَوْ لَا شُيُوخٌ رُكَّعٌ وَأَطْفَالٌ رُضَّعٌ وَبَهَائِمٌ مُرُتَّعٌ لَصُبَّ عَلَيْكُمْ الْعَذَابُ صَبَّةٌ That's the adab, the punishment of Allah and the right of Allah does not come because something is blocking it. Who are they? You say, the shuyukh and rukka. Those type of the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they are the barakah in our life. While they are alive, they are the barakah. Because when the barakah of Allah comes to the earth, who is going to go first? Logically. Is it going to go first to the closest people to Allah? And then from them will spread? Right or wrong? You might be sleeping on your bed. And one of the awliya of Allah, he's standing in the night and praying for you and your family. And you have no idea. That his barakah of his dua might save you from many, lots of troubles. Isn't it a sunnah to pray for your brothers behind his back or not? And sisters, right or wrong? This is the sunnah. And with this dua, we'll, have, we'll be active in the life, we'll have effect in our life or not? It will. Otherwise, what's the point of it? Who taught us to pray for each other behind each other's backs? Isn't it Rasulullah sallallahu And he said, when you pray for your brothers and sisters, and then Allah will send an angels, every time you make a dua, what this angel says, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. So you're not alone. You connect with someone from the heaven. So what that means? That means, can you benefit someone with, your, with the power of your dua or not? Based on the sunnah, yes. Okay, what about when it comes from the wali? Would it, the minimum would be same, but it should be more. You see, if I come and ask you pray for me, is this a sunnah or not? It's a sunnah. This is. Rasulullah when Umar came and said, Ya Rasulullah, I need a permission going for Umrah, your permission. The Rasulullah said, Idhab wa ashrikna ma'aka fi dua ya ukhay. He said, go and remember us in your dua, brother. Rasulullah why he needs to, to teach us to ask each other when would I ask you to pray for me unless I believe in you so that means Rasulullah is teaching us to believe in each other I, when I think good and positive about you that means Rasulullah is teaching us to think good and positive about each other when I believe that you are close to Allah that means Rasulullah is teaching us to believe in each other that you are close to Allah and you believe that I'm close to Allah when I believe that your dua is accepted, when I believe you are wali, the Rasulullah is teaching us to believe in each other that you are the wali of Allah, and then you believe that I'm the wali of Allah, and they believe he is the wali, and believe this is the wali, then the whole ummah treat each other as what? As all awliya of Allah. Isn't it this the sunnah? Isn't what is the what is the purpose of this hadith of Rasulullah? But what we need, we need it, we need we need the deeper understandings of the hadith and the sunnah of Rasulullah. So the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They, they present the rahmah of Allah and, and they increase the rahmah of Allah among us while they arrive, while they are alive and even after they die how after they die? because he's, he's a scholar, he's a righteous person of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's a wali of Allah so he's in his grave now visiting the graves is it a, is it a sunnah or a bid'ah? it's a sunnah Rasulullah told us to do so. So now, if I go visit a maqam of Sayyidina Imam Abdul Qadir al-Jilani, Qaddas Allahu Sirrahu, or any wali of Allah, or the Sahaba of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi and I go, is that a place blessed or not? It says a blessed. Hmm. What is the proof of that? Rasulullah Sallallahu Imam Bukhari, Bukhari narrated and Muslim in Sahih, and Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar, the state of Rasulullah said, do not go to the places of the old nations, those who have been punished by Allah, that the wrath of Allah came upon them. You see? And then he said, he told the Sahaba in his way, from the battle of Tabuk, when we passed by uh, uh, Diyar, the, 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 the nation of uh, Thamud in Hijr, he وسلم, covered his head with a shell and, 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 and walked fast, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then the whole Sahaba go with him. He said, I don't want anything from that the wrath of Allah came upon them to touch you. 
And then some of Sahaba, they use the water and they try to cook. He told them to throw everything away. Even. What is what we understand from that? Look at that area. What happens in that area? What came on that area? The, the, the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many years ago? Thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Rasulullah just did this 1400 years ago. And then he requests and, and command the whole ummah to do the same. What that means? That means the wrath of Allah in that area is still active or not? So the radiation, let's take it in this language, is still active or not? Based on the hadith of Rasulullah that's narrated in Sahih Bukhari Muslim, yes, it's still active. So what Rasulullah wants, wants to protect his ummah, that's nothing of that wrath of Allah touches them. Wow, that came like thousands of years. Who knows, maybe millions of years, Allah knows. And still active till now. All right, let's take a look at the other side. This is the wrath of Allah. What comes in front of that at the other side? The rahmah of Allah. Okay, let's compare between the rahmah and the anger of Allah and the wrath of Allah. Which one is stronger? Uh, rahmah. Which one is bigger? Which one takes over the other? The rahmah. That's what Allah says in the Quran. That's what Allah says in the Hadith Al-Qudsi. Rahmati sabaqat ghadabi. Right or wrong? So the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stronger. If the radiation of the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is still active in those places, then what about the rahmah of Allah when it descends in some place? Is it still active or not? So when you go to it, would you get some share from that rahmah or not? Allah. This is the sunnah. So when you visit the maqam of a wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that wali we believe is blessed by Allah. So do you get a share of his rahmah or not? Based on the hadith and this understanding, yes. Someone doesn't want to take this understanding, it's up to them. But for us, that's what we believe and that's what we do. We go to the graves, we don't make tawaf around the graves, we don't worship the graves, we don't worship the wali. We believe that wali of Allah cannot harm or benefit by himself without Allah's permission. And we believe in that. If he does something good or not, or if he benefits or harm, that's all by Allah's permission. No one can do anything, even the Prophet Sallallahu without Allah's permission. This is aqeedah for us as Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. We, we don't worship graves. We don't do tawaf around graves. We don't do all such things. But we believe in the awliya of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And we believe in their barakah based on the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that makes us understand the importance of the awliya of Allah. That's the barakah still continuing. And look those, uh, this gathering for our Imam Abdul Qadir Jilani, Qaddas Allah Sirra wa Rahimahullah. Now we are, uh, this is, this is a, 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 an example, we are gathering in the masjid. And is it narrated in the hadith, when people gather in the masjid and remember Allah, the sakina of Allah will descend and the angels of Allah will come and then the barakah will spread. And then the angels, they go to Allah and Allah will ask them what they gather for. They say they gather for you. And then what they ask me, they ask me your jannah and what they want me to protect them from, from your fire. And the question, then Allah says, uh, Allah will say, oh my, oh my angels, be witness that I forgive all of them. Allah, they done whatever needs they have in their heart. It's, it's done. The king of the kings has signed it. It's done, accepted it. And then the angels, Allah, there is a so and so, he does not belong to them. He just walked by, he needs something else, but he's stuck in the majlis <laughs> and he sat there. Then Allah will say, Humal julasa'u la yashqa bihim Oh, he will get the same share as well. He will get it from their barakah. So the barakah of this majlis and the people of majlis has touched someone else and impacted his life or not. It does. So that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us. So the barakah and believing in each other is very important things. What gathers us here, the, the, the Imam Abdul Qadir al-Jalani, Qaddas Allah Sirro, this gathering because of his barakah. So now look how many years between us and him. His barakah still came to us or not? Right or wrong? So that is another example and many more. What we need is to understand the importance of the awliya of Allah. And what are their rights? And which maqam Allah gave these awliya of Allah? How Allah valued them? We don't want from you to value them more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If Allah has elevated them to this level, 
how would you put them down and give them no value? Who are you to change the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So following the deen of Allah and the sunnah of Allah is to do it the way how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it. And remember at the end, the three pillars of the system of the whole deen that Allah established, the deen, the sharia, and it's the three maqam, Islam, Iman, and Ihsan, and the guidance, the hidayah of Allah, and the guider, these are three connected together. No one can change them ever. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with the barakah of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the barakah of the Quran, the barakah of the akhlaq of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the barakah to have the right understanding of the Islam, the way how Allah wants it, not our own desire wants it, the way how Rasulullah sallallahu wants it, not our own brain and our thoughts wants it, just the way how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa wants it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our knowledge and give us the good knowledge that can change us, make us a better people, a better servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to protect our hearts from the shaitan and do not give shaitan any share in our hearts, ya arhamar rahimeen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fill up this heart, these hearts with the love of Allah, the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the love of Alu Bayti Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the love of the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the love of Sayyidina Ali, Sayyidina Al Hassan, Sayyidina Al Hussein, and all Alu Bayti Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the love of the whole Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Muhajireen and Ansar, and people of Badr, people of Uhud, and Sayyidina Abu Bakr, and Umar, and Uthman, and Ali, and all the Sahaba, ya Arhamar Rahimin. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fill up these hearts with the love of all the creation of Allah and protect it from any hate towards anything that Allah created in this life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us his sirat al-mustaqeem. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the people of his sirat al-mustaqeem. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the stability to stay on his sirat al-mustaqeem. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to always guide us to those who will guide us to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask, us, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show to us his awliya, his beloved ones and and grant us and honor us to serve them and to look after them and to be with them and have their company and their suhba. Ya Arhamar Rahimeen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this beautiful center and these beautiful imams and shaykh and bless their, bless their efforts, their families, their wives and their daughters and their sons and their parents. Ya Arhamar Rahimeen. May Allah put barakah in their time and barakah in their health, barakah in their effort, barakah in every word. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them doors takes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam straight ya arhamar rahimin may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them among his very special 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 awliya ya arhamar rahimin may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open to them the hearts of many creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah protect these generations boys and girls kids and youth and adults and everyone may Allah protect them from all evil, the evil of the shayateen of the human and the evil of the shayateen of the jinn. May Allah surround them all the time with a great shiyukh and great imams who can take their hands and give them the right terbiyah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah bless this place and every inch of it. Allahumma ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every person who attend this place, ya arhamar rahimeen. May Allah put the secrets of his rahmah and his knowledge and his rahmah in this place, Ya Arhamar Rahimin. May Allah link, the, link this place to Medina to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala link this member to the member of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala link this mihrab to the mihrab of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah link this area to the rawza of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir wa inna Allah arhamar rahimin. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسر النبي الأعظم صلى الله عليه وسلم وبسر أسرار الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الرحمن الرحيم اهدنا الصراط صراط ولا الضال آمين جزاكم الله خيرا وبارك الله فيكم شكرا سيدي يكون جزاك الله نقول جزاك الله والله يجزم خيرا جزا والله يزلكم ويبارك فيكم في في أوقاتكم وفي جهودكم والله نحن مسؤولا جدا الحمد لله وياك مشان جزاك الله دروز شيخ وليد المكي the principal and founder of
nuna kalami may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him in abundance may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us through him inshallah MashaAllah. Uh, I asked Sheikh uh, to stay for a couple minutes just for Asul Barqa, but then he has somewhere else to go, inshaAllah. So he will be leaving. Uh, so we don't want to say that it is disrespect that he's leaving. He take ijazah and he had to come from another place as well. So Jazakallah Sheikh for, for, uh, for coming and blessing us and teaching us what it means uh, and who are the awliya and the walis of Allah. So if you all want to meet Sheikh, uh, please go and meet them, inshallah, and then we will have our uh, Nathan uh, present uh, in the shan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. MashaAllah, if everybody can meet the beloved Sheikh and stay seated after you're done, inshaAllah, the program will continue. Please make sure that you meet Sheikh for Asule Barakah, and then uh, we will have our Sana Khan Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inshaAllah. MashaAllah, can we have everybody please sit down, inshaAllah. Tell everybody to come inside, please. You're not that old. You, you want to show jazba. Now you have your Sana Khan Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Pakistan that is going to be reciting, inshaAllah. In the shan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Mada Sharif in the shan of Hazur Ghawse Azam radiallahu an Pakistan ke mashur Sana Khan Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Al Haj Hafiz Muhammad Ali Sovradi. Nare Takbir. Nare Takbir. I know Isha is over, but we can be a little bit louder than that. Nare Takbir. Nare Risalat. Nare Risalat. Narai Hedari, Narai Gausia. Spillai Rahman Rahim, a slato slam alika, a sulullah, while I was habika, a bibullah, a slato slam alika, and a biullah, while I was habika, a nudullah. Nehayati Vajibulhetram, Hamare. عمر بھائی اور ان کے برادران 
مسجد حاضہ کے امام و خطیب اور یقیناً ہمارے لیے باعث رحمت باعث برکت اور اللہ کی دی ہوئی توفیق سے الحمد للہ ایک مرتبہ پھر بہت عرصے بعد کچھ لوگوں کی زیارت نصیب ہوئی قبل شاہ صاحب تشریف فرما ہے اللہ ان کا سایہ سلامت رکھے میں بالکل اختصار کے ساتھ جو وقت مجھے ملے گا اسی وقت میں رہتے ہوئے انشاءاللہ کچھ کلام پیش کرتا ہوں اب جہاں پر بھی بیٹھے ہیں اپنی موجودگی کا احساس دلاتے ہوئے کم سے کم اتنی آواز ہو کہ یہ در و دیوار گواہ ہو جائے قلب و روزی قیامت گواہی دے مل کر پڑھ لیجئے صلی اللہ علیہ کیا رسول اللہ وسلم علیہ کیا حبیب اللہ اچھا پڑھ لیجئے صلی اللہ علیہ کیا رسول اللہ 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 کی سرطاب قدم شان ہے یہ انسان نہیں انسان وہ انسان ہے یہ انسان نہیں انسان وہ انسان ہے یہ اور قرآن تو قرآن تو ایمان بتاتا ہے انہیں اور ایمان یہ کہتا ہے میری جان ہے یہ ایمان یہ کہتا ہے میری جان ہے یہ پڑھ لیجئے صلی اللہ علیہ کیا رسول اللہ وسلم علیہ کیا حبیب اللہ آئیے درود اہل بیس سے ابتدا کرتے ہوئے اس یقین کے ساتھ کہ سارے احباب میرے ساتھ شامل ہو جائیں اللہم صل علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد اللہم صل علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی سیدنا علی و سیدتنا فاتح و سیدتنا زینب و سیدنا حسن و سیدنا حسین و علی آلہ و صحبہ و بارک و سلم جنت میں فاطمہ کی کنیز جہاں رہے جنت میں فاطمہ کی کنیزیں جہاں رہے یا رب میری دعا ہے میری ماں وہاں رہے جنت میں فاطمہ اس سے بڑی دعا کوئی نہیں ہے مل کر جنت میں فاطمہ کی کنیزیں جہاں رہے جنت میں فاطمہ کی کنیزیں جہاں رہے یا رب میری دعا ہے میری ماں وہاں رہے اللہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد اللہم صلی علی 
ومولانا محمد جنت میں مصطفیٰ کے جنت میں مصطفیٰ کے صحابہ جہاں رہے ہاں جنت میں مصطفیٰ کے صحابہ جہاں رہے یا رب میری دعا ہے میرے بابا وہاں رہے اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا علي وسيدتنا فاطمة وسيدتنا زينب وسيدنا حسين وسيدنا حسين وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك بارك وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه درد باك فليج صلى الله عليك حبي بھائی ساؤنڈ بہت اچھا چل رہا ہے تھوڑی سے اگر میڈو شارپ کھول دے بڑی مہربانی ہوگی نوازش اللہ آپ کو سلامت رکھے خوشیہ نصیب فرمائیں تھوڑی سے میڈو شارپ کھول دے تھوڑی سے بڑی مہربانی چونکہ مستقل سفر سے میں آیا ہوں تو سارا دن کل رات سے بس نین بہت کم ہوئی ہے میری بڑی مہربانی ہوگی درود باک اللہم صلی اللہ علیہ سیدنا عمران محمد العدد ما فین ملہ نصیر ملت کا کلام ہے تضمین ہے اور کلام عالی حضرت ہے شاعر کہتے ہیں کوئی دنیا عطا میں نہیں ہم تا تیرا ہو جو ہاتھ کو میں اثر یہ نظارہ تیرا ہو جو ہاتھ کو میں اثر یہ نظارہ تیرا کہ اٹھے دیکھ کے بخشش میں یہ رتبہ تیرا بولو وہاں کیا جو تو کرم ہے شہبت ہا تیرا بولو وہاں کیا جو کوئی عام کلام نہیں کلام آلا ہے تو اوچھا بولو وہاں کیا جو تو کرم ہے شہبت ہا تیرا نہیں سنتا ہی نہیں مانگنے والا تیرا نہیں سنتا ہی نہیں مانگنے والا اور کچھ بشر ہونے کے ناتے انہیں خود سا جانے اور کچھ مغیز پیامی ہی خدا کا جانے اور ان کی اوقات ہی کیا ہے کہ یہ اتنا جانے فرش والے تیری شوقت کا علو کیا جانے 
نظر اوشا کے نبی نظر اوشا کے نبی ہے یہ میرا ہے فغریب ممبر واز پہ لڑتے رہے آپس میں خطی اور یہ عقیدہ رہے اللہ کرے مجھے کون سی اٹھاؤ دونوں ہاتھوں کو بولو کہ میں تو مالک ہی کہوں گا کہ ہو مالک کہ حبی میں تو مالک میں تو مالک ہی کہوں گا کہ ہو مالک کہ حبیب یعنی محبوب محب میں نہیں میرا تیرا یعنی محبوب محب میں نہیں میرا تیرا کئی پوشتوں سے غلامی کا ہے رشتہ یہ بہال یہی تفلی اور جوانی کے بتائے محسار اب بڑا پہ میں خدا رہا ہمیں یوں دے سے نٹا تیرے ٹکڑوں سے پلے غیر کی ٹھوکے پہ نہ ڈالا کا تیرے ٹکڑ تیرے ٹکڑوں تیرے ٹکڑوں سے پلے غیر کی ٹھوکے نہ ڈالا کا تیرے ٹھوکڑوں سے پلے غیر ہاں نہ ڈال جھڑکیاں کھائیں کہاں چھوڑ کے صدقہ تیرا جھڑکی آنکھائے کہاں چھوڑ کے صدقہ تیرا تجھے سے ہر چند وہ ہے قدروں 
فضائی کر نسیراج مگر فکر رضا کی توسی پاس ہے اس کے شفاعت کا وسیلہ بھی وقی تیری سرکار ملاتا ہے رضا اس کو شفیق تیری سرکار ملاتا ہے رضا اس کو شفی جو میرا غوث ہے اور لا دلا بیٹھا تیرا وہ کیا جو کرم ہے شہے بتہا تیرا اٹھا دو پیدا اٹھا دو پیدا اٹھا دو پیدا دکھا دو چہرہ نور باری ہجاب میں ہے زمانہ تاریخ ہو رہا ہے کہ مہر کب سے نقاب میں ہے اور انہی کی بومائے سمن ہے انہی کا جلوہ چمن چمن ہے انہی سے گلشے مہک رہے ہیں انہی کی رگت گلاب میں ہیں اٹھا دو پیدا دکھا دو چہرہ اور کریم ایسا ملا کہ جس کے کھلے گے ہاتھ بھرے خزانے بتاؤ اے مفلسوں کے پھر کیوں تمہارا دل اس تراب میں ہے بتاؤ اے مفلسوں کے پھر کیوں تمہارا دل اس تراب میں ہے 
اور کریم اپنے کرم کا صدقہ لائن بے قدر کو نہ شیما تو اور رضا سے حساب لینا رضا بھی کوئی حساب میں ہے اٹھا دو پردہ آئیے پھر سید نسید نسی شاہ صاحب کا کلام گولہ شریف میرے شیر ختم ہونے سے پہلے کہیے کہ سبحان اللہ اللہ آپ کے ذوق کو سلامت رکھے شاعر کہتے ہیں لا مدینے کی تجلی سے لگائے ہوئے ہیں لا مدینے کی تجلی سے لگائے ہوئے ہیں لا مدینے تجلی سے لگائے ہوئے ہیں دل کو ہم مت لائے انوار بنائے ہوئے ہیں دل کو ہم مت لائے انوار بنائے ہوئے ہیں اور کشتیاں اپنی کنارے سے لگائے ہوئے ہیں کشتیاں اپنی کنارے سے لگائے ہوئے ہیں کیا وہ ڈوبے جو محمد کے تیرائے ہوئے ہیں کیا وہ ڈوبے جو محمد کے تیرائے ہوئے ہیں اور حاضروں ناظروں نوروں بشروں غیب کو چھوڑ حاضروں ناظروں نوروں بشروں غیب کو چھوڑ شکر کر وہ تیرے عیبوں کو چھپائے ہوئے ہیں شکر کر وہ تیرے عیبوں کو چھپائے ہوئے ہیں لو مدینے کی تجلی سے لگائے ہوئے ہیں اور نام لیتے ہی ابو بکر و عمر کا لب پر نام لیتے ہی ابو بکر و عمر کا لب پر تو بگڑتا ہے وہ پہلوں میں سلائے ہوئے ہیں تو بگڑتا ہے نام لیتے ہی ابو بکر و عمر کا لب پر تو بگڑتا ہے وہ پہلوں میں سلائے ہوئے ہیں تو بگڑتا ہے وہ پہلوں میں سلائے ہوئے ہیں اور مولا حیدر کی شجاعت پہ مواری جاؤ مولا حیدر کی شجاعت پہ مواری جاؤ ایک ہی ہاتھ سے خیبر کو اٹھائے ہوئے ہیں مولا حیدر کی شجاعت پہ مواری جاؤ ایک ہی غات سے خیبر کو اٹھائے ہوئے ہیں نار حیدری نار حیدری نار حیدری ارے کیوں نہ پلڑا تیرے 
आमाल का भारी हो नसीर अब तो मीजान पे सरकार भी आए हुए हैं सरकार की आमद मरहा दिलदार की आमद मरहा सब मिलकर बोलो मरहा और ऊंचा बोलो मरहा दिलदार की आमद मरहा लजपाल की आमद मरहा आका की आमद मरहा सरवर की आमद क्यों ना पल्ला तेरे आमाल का भारी हो नसीर अब तो मीजान पे सरकार भी आए हुए हैं इस जमाने में अगर देखी तो शान कादरी देखे नबूत के गुलिस्ता में विलायत की कली देखी हकीकत खुल गई जब सर समी बगदाद की देखी तजली ही तजली रोशनी ही रोशनी देखी दया रे वास क्या देखा मदीने की गली देखी बोलो या वास हल मदा वास हल निदा देगा मुनादी हशर में यू कादरियों को के कहा है कादरी कर ले नजारा हौस आज का बोलो या वास हल मदाद या वास हल मदाद या वास हल मदाद या वास हल मदाद या वास हल सरकार गौस आजम नजरे करो खुदारा मेरा खाली का सबर दो मैं फकीर हूँ तुम्हारा ये तेरा करम है या गौस जो बना लिया है अपना कहा मुझसा ये कमीना कहा सिलसिला तुम्हारा या गौस हल मदाद या गौस हल मदाद या गौस हल मदाद या गौस हल मदाद या गौस या तेरा नाम खाजा मोइन उदीन तेरा नाम खाजा मोइन उदीन तुर सो ले पाक की आल है तेरी शान खाजा ए खाज गा तेरी शान खाजा ए खाज गा तुझे बे कसो का ख्याल और मेरा बिगड़ा बख्त सवार दो मेरा बिगड़ा बख्त सवार दो मेरे खाजा सबको नवाज दो मेरे खाजा सबको नवाज दो तेरी एक निगाह की बात है तेरी एक निगाह खाजा 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 एक निगाह तेरी एक निगाह की बात है मेरी से दगी का सवाल है और मेरा ख्वाजा अताए रसूल है मेरा ख्वाजा मेरा ख्वाजा मेरा ख्वाजा मेरा ख्वाजा हिंद करा जा मेरा ख्वाजा अताए रसूल है वो बहार चीश का फूल है वो बहार गुलशन फातिमा वो बहार गुलशन चमने अली कन खा हिंद के राजा खा और यहाँ बीक मिलती है बे गुमाग 
बड़े सखी का है आस्ता ये बड़े सखी का है आस्ता आया सबकी भरती है जो लिया 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 ये दर गरीब नवाज है मेरा खाजा अता रसूल है मेरा खाजा हिंद का राजा मेरा खाजा मेरा खाजा अता रसूल है वो बाहर चिस्ट का फूल है वो बाहर चिस्ट का फूल है वो बाहर गुलशन फातमा वो बाहर गुलशन फात चमन अली कन खाजा नहीं छोड़ एक शेर और पढ़ लीजिए कि दिल्ली राजस्थान तुम्हारा या खाजा हिंदो पाकिस्तान तुम्हारा हा हिंदो पाकिस्तान तुम्हारा क्योंकि हिंद में नब्बे लाख को कलमा पढ़वाया हिंद में नब्बे लाख को कलमा पढ़वाया हम पर है फैजान तुम्हारा या ख्वाजा सारा हिंदुस्तान तुम्हारा हजारों कोशिशें कर ली जमाने ने झुकाने की पर मुझे झुकने नहीं देता वल्ला कदम जहरा के बच्चों का मुझे झुकने नहीं देता कदम जहरा के बच्चों का वाह क्या वाह क्या अमर तबाह गौ से बाला तेरा हाँ। वाह क्या मैं तबाह गौ से है बाला तेरा ऊंचे ऊंचो किसरों से कदम ला तेरा ऊंचे ऊंचो किसरों से कदम ला तेरा और सर भला क्या सर भला क्या कोई जाने के गए कैसा तेरा ओलिया मल ते है आखे वो है तलवा तेरा ओलिया मल ते है आखे वो है तलवा और क्या दबे जिस पे हिमायत का हो पंजा तेरा क्या दबे जिस पे हिमायत का हो पंजा तेरा क्या दबे जिस पे का हो पंजा तेरा इस शेर को खतरे में लाता नहीं कोता तेरा शेर को खतरे में लाता नहीं कोता तेरा और फख्र आका में रजा और भी एक नज में रफी च 
چلی کالا سنا خانوں میں چہرہ تیرا انت نور اللہ فجر جت بعد العسر یسر ربنا علیک قدر یا امام الانبیاء یا حبیبی یا رسول اللہ یا نبی سلام علیکہ یا رسول سلام یا حبیب سلام علیکہ صلوات اللہ علیکہ طلع البدر علینا من سنیت الوداع وجب شکر علینا مدعا للہ دائی پڑو یا نبی سلام علیکہ یا رسول سلام یا حبی سلام علیکہ صلوات اللہ علیکہ جکنی کے وقت آنا جکنی کے وقت آنا کلمہ طیب پڑھانا مکر شیطان سے بچانا اور سینے سے لگانا از تو فیل غوث آزر گنج بخش فیض عالم صدقہ امام آزم دور ہو سب ہی کیرن جو غن یا نبی سلام علیکہ یا رسول سلام علیکہ یا حبیب سلام علیکہ صلوات اللہ علیکہ صلاة والسلام علیکہ یا رسول اللہ وعلا آلیکہ وصحابکہ یا حبیب اللہ الفاتحہ قلو اللہ فضل اللہ سمت لم یلد ولم یلد ولم یقل لہو کفوان احد بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قلو اللہ وحد اللہ سمت لم یلد ولم یلد ولم یقل لہو کفوان احد بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قلو اللہ وحد اللہ سمت لم یلد ولم یلد ولم یقل لہو کفوان احد اللہم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و علیہ سیدنا و مولانا محمد و سلیم یا اللہ ربنا آتنا فی الدنیا حسنتا و فی الاخرت حسنتا و قین عذاب النار و قین عذاب الموت و قین عذاب القبر و قین عذاب الپلسرات و قین عذاب المیزان یا اللہ ہمارے گناہ و خطاؤں کو بخش دے خبر کے عذاب سے دوزق کے عذاب سے پلسرات سے سکرات سے ہر قسم کے عذاب سے بچا ہر قسم کے کرونا وارث سے ہر قسم کی وبا سے ہماری حفاظت فرما گھر والوں کی حفاظت فرما تمام عالم اسلام کا بول بالا فرما عالم اسلام کی عزت عابر کی حفاظت فرما سرکار دو جہاں صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے صدق تو فیل میں یا اللہ جو مرحومین اس دنیا سے رہلت کر گئے یا اللہ ان کی خبروں کو نور سے بھر دے یا اللہ ان کی خبروں کو کشادہ کر دے یا اللہ ان کی خبروں کو جنت کی باغوں میں سے ایک باغ بنا سرکار کے صدق تو فیل میں انہیں کروٹ کروٹ جنت نصیب فرما سرور کائنات صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے صدق تو فیل میں یا اللہ ہمارے نات خان کی یا اللہ عمر میں برکت عطا فرما یا اللہ ان کے درجات بلند فرما چیت تندرست عطا فرما سرکار کے صدق تو فیل میں اللہ حاضرین کی جائز تمنا پوری کر دے اللہ سرکار کے صدق تو فیل میں ان کی گھروں میں اللہ رحمت و برکتہ کو نزول فرما بے حساب دولت سے سرفراز فرما سرکار کے صدق تو فیل میں اللہ مرت وقت ہمیں کلمہ نصیب فرما یا اللہ جو بے اولاد ہیں انہیں اولاد نصیب فرما جو خرزدار ہیں ان سے خرز سے زبوک دو ستا فرما سرکار کے صدق تو فیل میں یا اللہ سرکار عدد جہاں صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی شفاعت نصیب فرما یا اللہ تیرے خرب خاص میں جگہ عطا فرما 
سرور کائنا صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے صدق و طفل میں ہم سب کو صحیح تندرستی تا فرما صحیح تندرستی کے ساتھ ساتھ یا اللہ ہم سب کی عمر و دراز فرما الفاتحہ قال تبارک و تعالی فی شان حبیب مصطفی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان اللہ و ملائکتہ یو صلو نانا نبی یا ایہا اللذین آمنو صلو علیہ وسلمو تسلیمہ اللہم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دمال علیہ سیدنا و مولانا محمد بار سلیم اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر لا الہ الا اللہ و اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر وللہ الحمد علا ان اولیاء اللہ لا خوف علیہم وَلَهُمْ يَحِزَنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمُنُوا وَقَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ أَمَّا يَسِفُونَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ والحمد لله رب العالمين اخلاء الله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم جی گزارش ہے تمام حضرات سے جو ہے وہ ایکزٹ پہ جو ہے لنگر جو ہے لے کے جانا پلیز لنگر جو موسن اور ساری ٹیم ہوگی باہر لنگر تقسیم کرنے میں پلیز لنگر لے کے جائیں السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ جس بیفور یو گو دیسمبر نائنٹین Sunday, December 19th, Al-Hajj, Sayyid Fasihuddin Sorwardi Sahib will be coming to the Makkah Islamic Center, inshaAllah. Sunday, December 19th, so Abzurur Tashif Lekhe Aayin, inshaAllah. Sunday, December 19th, inshaAllah. Ji. Sunni conference mein bhi Tashif Lekhe Aayin, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum.